Hi, I'm Steve Weinreeb, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to sharpen in Adobe Photoshop. We're going to use the Smart Sharpen filter in luminosity mode. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to the background layer of the Layers panel, and I'm going to click the padlock icon of the background layer to get rid of it. And that turns the background layer into a floating layer or a layer zero. If you're working on an early version of Photoshop, you can drag that padlock down to the trash can at the bottom of the layers panel to get rid of it. Now I'm going to add a new layer below the current layer. And I can do that by holding down the com command or control key on your keyboard and clicking the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. That adds a new layer below the currently active layer. Then I'm going to fill that layer with white. I can do that by bringing up the fill dialog, which I'll do by tapping shift backspace on Windows or shift delete on the Mac. And from the contents of the fill dialog, I'm going to choose white. Click OK, and that layer becomes filled with white. Now let's go back to the layer zero, and I'm going to first turn that layer into a smart object. So I'm going to the drop down menu with the layers panel and I'm going to choose convert to smart object. Then I'm going to change the blending mode of that layer to luminosity mode. That lets me preview the image on screen in luminosity mode. Now this isn't luminosity sharpening yet, but we can preview the image in luminosity mode even while we're doing our luminosity sharpening. Then we're going up to the filter menu and we're going to apply our filter. So filter, sharpen, smart sharpen, the best sharpening filter in Photoshop for photography, certainly. And then I can actually expand that dialog out a little bit by grabbing the lower right corner. And our preview in the smart sharpen filters in color, but again on screen, we are viewing your image in luminosity mode. And the preview you want to view at 100%. So to preview our luminosity background or our original image on screen at 100%, we can simply press Command or Control and the plus key to zoom in and watch the little zoom field, this little zoom percentage in the bottom left of your screen. That will show you how much you've zoomed into your image. And I'll press Command or Control Plus until that says 100%. Now I'm previewing the image on screen at 100% as well as the preview within the Smart Sharpen filter. Then I can adjust the amount of my sharpening. I'm going to take this image up to about 250%. You just want to especially make sure you don't see any halos or light lines around the edges of your edges of contrast in your image like this tree branch here where we see a, a stark contrast between highlight and shadow. You wouldn't want to see a, a little white band along that edge of the tree branch, which would be something called halos and when you're sharpening. You also don't want to start introducing noise into your shadows. We do have a reduce noise slider, but that can also start softening the detail in your shadows when you use that. Next, I'm going to click the triangle next to shadows and highlights. This lets me fade the amount of, sh of sharpening in the shadows and highlights, and I generally fade the amount of sharpening by about 15 to 20 percent. I'm going to drag the, sh the fade amount in both the shadow and the, uh, and the highlights here to 20 percent. And what this allows me to do by reducing the amount of sharpening in the shadows and highlights lets me often increase the amount slider without, again, introducing noise into my shadows or getting those halos that are, look very ugly when you over, over sharpen an image. Now I'm going to click OK and apply the sharpening filter. And this applies as a smart filter to the smart object. So when our progress bar is done, we'll see below the smart object, the smart filter appears. And it's completely editable because we applied the smart sharpening filter as a smart filter to the smart object. I know that's a lot of smarts, but believe me, this technique works great. I wasn't involved in this 
smart branding decision over at Adobe. But this is a great technique, and that because this filter is editable, we can double click on Smart Sharpen if we want to re edit it. But better than that, we can come over to the right of the Smart Sharpen filter, we see two little triangles, and that gives us our blending options for the filter. And this is, gives us great flexibility when you're applying smart filters to smart objects in Photoshop. So I'm going to double click those two little triangles and that will open up the blending options. Let's wait for the progress bar to get done. And now our blending options are open and we see in the blending options Opacity, which is a actually very useful feature, especially if you're changing the blending options of some filters, or you just wanted to say fade the amount of sharpening overall. But we're going up to the mode menu, and I'm going to click on normal, and drag down to the bottom of the list to luminosity mode. And I'm going to click luminosity, and that applies the filter in luminosity mode. Now I can click OK and the filter is applied in luminosity mode to the image. So we're both previewing our filter effect in luminosity mode, and we've applied our filter in luminosity mode. If you're familiar with sharpening in Camera Raw, for example, or Lightroom, sharpening to raw images, well, your sharpening is being done in luminosity mode. Here we've done it right in Photoshop. If we want to view our image in color, all we need to do is toggle the visibility of the eyeball next to the layer one, and we can view our image in color, and I'm going to press Command or Control-0 to resize our image to fit on screen, and there is our image with luminosity sharpening applied. I'm Steve Weinrieb, and if you like this tutorial, go ahead and click the subscribe button here at the top of the screen, and meanwhile, I will see you in my next video.